guys. So I am still on COVID. That's why I didn't have a video out last week because I was dealing with COVID. But now all my symptoms are gone. Uh, after the five days, all my symptoms were gone, but I'm still positive. But I don't have any symptoms. So I'm able to film videos for you guys again. Sorry for not getting one out last week, but I had COVID. So it would be kind of hard to talk and film a video when I felt like complete shit. So I'm back. I feel better. And we're going to go with the next set of Shadowhunters books. Now you know how this works. I will be reading the description and then telling you guys what I thought of it. We're going to start with Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy. This is Simon on the front because he's the one going to the Academy. Anyway. Simon Lewis has been a human and a vampire. And now he is becoming a shadow hunter. But the events of City of Heavenly Fire left him stripped of his memories, and Simon isn't sure who he is anymore. He knows he was friends with Clary, and that he convinced a total goddess, Isabel Lightwood, to go out with him, but he doesn't know how. And when Clary and Isabel look at him, expecting him to be a man, he doesn't remember. Simon can't take it. So when the Shadow Hunter Academy reopens, Simon throws himself into this new world of demon hunting, determined to find himself again, his new self, whoever this new Simon might be. But the Academy is a Shadow Hunter institution, which means it has some problems, like the fact that non-Shadow Hunter students have to live in the basement, and that differences, like being a former vampire, are greatly looked down upon. At least Simon is trained in weaponry, even if it's only from hours of playing D&D. Join Simon in his journey to become a shadow hunter and learn about the Academy's illustrious history along the way through guest lectures such as Jace Herondale, Tessa Gray, and Magnus Bain. These ten moving and hilarious short stories give a satisfying epilogue to the Moral Instruments series and provide tantalizing glimpse of what's in store in the dark artifices. Read this book if you want to cry. Honestly, I feel like that's what I say about most of her books. Now we're into the Dark Artifices, the first one, Lady Midnight. Let's read. In a kingdom by the sea. In a secret world where half-angel warriors are sworn to fight demons, parabatai is a sacred word. A parabatai is your partner in battle. A parabatai is your best friend. Parabatai can be everything to each other, but they can never fall in love. Emma Carstairs is a warrior, a shadow hunter, and the best in her generation. She lives for battle. Shoulder to shoulder with her pair of a tie, Julian Blackthorn, she patrols the streets of Los Angeles, where vampires party on the Sunset Strip, and fairies, the most powerful of supernatural creatures, teeter on the edge of open war with shadow hunters. When the bodies of humans and fairies turn up murdered in the same way Emma's parents were when she was a child, an uneasy alliance is formed. This is Emma's chance for revenge, and Julian's chance to get back his brother Mark, who's being held prisoner by the fairy courts. All Emma, Mark, and Julian have to do is solve the murders within two weeks and before the murderer targets them. The search takes Emma from sea caves full of sorcery to a dark lottery where death is dispensed. And each clue she unravels uncovers more secrets. What has Julian been hiding from her all these years? Why does Shadowhunter Law forbid Parabatai to fall in love? Who really killed her parents? And can she bear to know the truth? The darkly magical world of Shadowhunters has captured the imagination of millions of readers across the globe. Join the adventure in Lady Midnight, the long-awaited first volume of a new trilogy from Cassandra Clare. This book wasn't one of my favorites. Emma's on the cover. This book wasn't one of my favorites, but it will definitely capture your attention more than the other trilogies, I think. Book two, Lord of Shadows. That's Julian on the cover. Sorry, my phone was really loud. Would you trade your soulmate for your soul? A shadow hunter's life is bound by duty, constrained by honor. The word of a shadow hunter is a solemn pledge, and no vow is more sacred than the vow that binds Parabatai, warrior partners sworn to fight together, die together, but to never fall in love. Emma Carstairs has learned that the love she shares for, with her Parabatai, Julian Blackthorn, isn't just forbidden, it could destroy them both. She knows she should run from Julian, but how can she when the Blackthorns are threatened by enemies on all sides? Their only hope is the Black Volume of the Dead, a spellbook of terrible power. Everyone wants it, only the Blackthorns can find it. 
spurred on by a dark bargain with the Seely Queen, Emma, her best friend Christina, and Mark and Julian Blackthorne travel into the courts of Fairy, where glittering revels hide bloody danger and no promise can be trusted. Meanwhile, rising tension between shadow hunters and downworlders has produced the cohort, an extremist group of shadow hunters dedicated to registering downworlders and unsuitable an unsuitable nephilim. They'll do anything in their power to expose Julian's secrets and take the Los Angeles Institute for their own. When downworlders turn against the clave, a new threat rises in the form of the Lord of Shadows, the Unseelie King, who sends his greatest warriors to slaughter those with Blackthorn blood and seize the Black Volume. As dangers close in, Julian devises a risky scheme that depends on the cooperation of an unpredictable enemy. But success may come with a price he and Emma cannot even imagine, one that will bring with it a reckoning of blood that could have repercussions for everyone and everything they hold dear. Join millions of readers around the world who have fallen under the spell of Cassandra Clare's Shadowhunters in the second volume of the Dark Artifices trilogy. This one was better. And then, book three, final book in the trilogy, Queen of Air and Darkness. This is Annabelle Blackthorne. God, this is the longest book. What if damnation is the price of true love? Innocent blood has been spilled on the steps of the Council Hall, the sacred stronghold of the Shadow Hunters. In the wake of the tragic death of Liva, in the wake of the tragic death of Liva Blackthorn, the Clave teeters on the brink of civil war. One fragment of the Blackthorn family flees to Los Angeles, seeking to discover the source of the disease that is destroying the race of warlocks. Meanwhile, Julian and Emma take desperate measures to put their forbidden love aside and undertake a perilous mission to Fairy to receive the Black Volume of the Dead. What they find in the courts is a secret that may tear the shadow world asunder and open a dark path into a future they could never have imagined. Caught in a race against time, Emma and Julian must save the world of shadow hunters before the deadly power of the Parapetai curse destroys them and everyone they love. This is the best one, in my opinion. It's very long. If you don't like to read a lot, you might want to do an audiobook. But this is, not counting the epilogue, 875 pages. And then there's an epilogue. Yep, it's a pretty hefty book, as you can see. Yep, but that's the last one in that series. And this is that for that video. Yes, if you do look up, Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy did come out a few months after that trilogy. The only reason that I did Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy before was because Simon is already a Shadowhunter in the Dark Artifices. So it wouldn't make sense if I told you about that book after. Yeah. So yeah, the way that I'm making these videos is in no way to read the book. Cassandra Clare has a list of what order to read the books in, so you can go find that for yourself. Um, I'm just letting you know what I think about the different parts of the series. And I'm doing them in the release year of the book. So the year the books are released is how I'm doing it. So I'm not doing it in the right reading order. But yeah, guys, we only have about five books left and then I move on to a different series of books. Anyway, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!